Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Today we're going to be replacing an ignition module on a GM 3.8 liter and this engine actually fits in a lot of GM vehicles and this procedure is actually going to be very similar to a 3.4 liter ignition module too. Uh, first thing you want to do is disconnect your electrical connector, connector which is right down here. Uh, that's a 7 millimeter nut and uh, we're just going to loosen that up. like so. Also you want to number your ignition wires uh, and uh, number them in accordance with the place that they are on your coils. Uh, that's number six. Under this is kind of crude. I did that with a uh, sharpie and it's black on black but I can actually see that. Um, you can use white out too. So six goes on six, three, two, five and so on and so forth. That way when you go back with your ignition coils or your ignition wires you know which position they sit in. Go ahead and take your wires off. Okay, once your wires are removed, you'll notice these 5.5 millimeter bolts going through the ignition coils, holding them on. And that actually goes through the ignition module and holds that to the, uh, the little plate here. We're gonna loosen those up one at a time. And that is a 5.5 millimeter socket. one coil off at a time and we're going to sit these down right over here on this battery junction box and we're going to sit them down in order just as they were sitting on the ignition module here yeah, that way we don't screw up the orientation and wiggle that off Looks like I had a little problem there. That bolt is rusted, and uh, I would probably have to use a five millimeter socket or something similar to get that bolt out. But we're almost there, and unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to mess around with that. This is your ignition module right here, and it sits just underneath that ignition coil. Once you take that off, this would then be loose. You can take it out. Uh, if you're not actually sure that the ignition module is faulty, you can take it to a parts store. Uh, most of your most of your parts stores will have a, uh, a device they can test this module with. You can take it down there, have them test it, and uh, see if it's bad or not, and then you go ahead and pop it back in. So sorry guys, I didn't intend for this video to go this way, but uh, once the last bolt comes out there, which I didn't really have time to, to get out uh, when making this video here, the whole ignition module just comes right off. Uh, there's six bolts that hold the coils on and the ignition module on, and once you get the last coil off, that module comes right off and it looks just like this you can see you got your six bolt holes that go straight through the uh, the edges of the ignition module there and something else i wanted to mention too um, an old timer trick that i've learned uh, is to put a little bit of dielectric grease on the bottom side of the ignition module before of your new ignition module that is before you bolt it on uh, that way it dissipates some of that heat out of the module into that uh, bracket that it bolts to now uh, this video is actually an old video and I've had several comments uh, regarding that and a lot of people disagree with me um, and, and that's fine now on this 01 Pontiac Bonneville 3.8 liter in particular uh, I didn't find any information uh, regarding putting dielectric grease or heat sink uh, compound on the back side of this ignition module. So uh, even in the instructions of a new module, uh, and, and I did I only looked at one brand, by the way, uh, it, it had no mention of putting any kind of uh, a heat sink compound or dielectric grease on the bottom side of this ignition module. So that being said, uh, the way that I do it is I put dielectric grease on it. And I've been okay doing it that way. However, I'm going to tell you to do your own research on this. Uh, always read the instructions that come with the part that you purchase. And always refer to your repair manual for the vehicle that you're working on just to make sure you're doing the right thing. You can't go by this video solely. So uh, do your own research, reference your repair manual, follow the instructions given by the uh, manufacturers of the part that you purchased and put them on put your part on accordingly. The installation is the reverse procedure, of course. Put your ignition coil in one at a time there, and we've already got one floor there. I'm just gonna cinch this down. 
I'm not tightening, tightening it up all the way. I'm going to do that by hand. And keep your bolts going through your ignition coil there. And uh, you notice these little blades here. They go in those little slots inside your ignition coil. And it's a good idea to start these threads out by hand for the first couple of threads. You don't want to cross thread the, uh, the bolt hole. tighten these down the rest of the way by hand just snug not real real tight uh, I don't actually have the torque specification on this uh, but you don't want to do it real real tight just kind of snug we're going to put our wires back on Number one, number five, number three, number six, number four, and number two. And then we put our electrical connector back on, which is right down here. Make sure you go straight on with this. Start this out by hand too. You definitely don't want to cross thread that. The same thing on this one. You want it just snug, not real, real tight. And I'm sorry I can't explain that better to you, but you don't want to over tighten it because you will end up stripping the threads on it. Snug. And that's it. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, feel free to check out the comments below for more information about this project. And please give the video a like. Thank you very much.